So we have a couple of stories uh, posted in the last few days um, regarding the Palisade Center. Um, the okay, just to to set the stage here. Um, you know, we know that Clarkstown and the Palisade Center uh, have been tied up in litigation for some time, and that. Um, the, uh, the two parties have been waiting to hear from the Second Circuit Court of Appeals uh, for nearly a year that they're waiting on a, on a decision whether Clarkstown was responsible for harming um, the mall for you know its, its inability to, um, to expand its space. Um, in the interim, in November, uh, Clarkstown held um, a, a referendum, and the people of Clarkstown overwhelmingly voted to allow the mall to lift the restrictive covenant. So now the news is um, that Clarkstown last week informed the Second Cir uh, Circuit Court of Appeals that, in fact, the restrictive covenant has been lifted. And um, in a very brief letter, has said to the court that this effectively should make the uh, the case moot. Um, it says, "quote In light of these developments, some claims in this matter are now moot." So, um, what is interesting about this is what will happen next. Um, will the Palisade Center? Um, uh, uh, t you know, uh, take the um, dismiss, have the case dismissed. Will they retract their case? Unlikely, because what still remains on the table is whether or not they're eligible for damages and attorneys' fees. Um, on the other hand, you know, will the court now finally, after a year, um, make some sort of a decision, and will they? They. Um, rule on the issues, even though, in a sense, yes, it, it is moot because at the heart of it, um, the suit was all about the mall's ability to uh, have this restrictive covenant listed so that they could uh, expand into about 250,000 square feet of unused space uh, that they've had for 20 years. Um, so it's, it's going to be um, interesting to to see uh, you know what what happens next here um, I think I think the people of Clarkstown um, you know who, who have not I guess gotten into the weeds on this issue would like to think okay you know the mall has gotten what it wants and now the the litigation should be over and it should be a fresh slate um, but of course in the world um, it doesn't really work that way um, because, you know, Eclico, uh, the company that owns the Palisades Mall, um, you know, may still ha be on legal uh, ground to get damages and attorney's fees from the town of Clarkstown, which would be, um, you know, that, that would not be good for Clarkstown and Clarkstown's town, uh, you know, taxpayers. Uh, even though the town says that it, it has insurance for these sort of things, um, so so that's that's a big story, and um, we're going to be watching to see whether, uh, again, whether the the appeals court um, uh, rules on this, whether they remand it back to the district court, um, and uh, you know wh whether the original issues um, are, are are ruled on. So. We'll keep a pin in that, and we'll watch that. Um, at the same time, uh, as, if, uh, as if that's not um, news enough, uh, we also have a story about the Palisades having just had an appraisal, Palisades Center having an appraisal, uh, that apparently values the mall at half of its value compared to 2016. So the appraisal says, um, according to a data firm, that the mall is valued at $425 million uh, compared to the $881 million um, back in 2016 when it was last valued. Um, and um, why this is important 
is is because the, the there'll be a tax cert. Yeah. Well, no, there already is. There, there already is. They're, they're, they've already filed um, for tax cert, um, and they, they've, uh, you know, so that's already in play. So, you know, I think that um, basically what what you know these two stories um, together uh, reveal is that um, that there's a lot of uncertainty swirling around the. The Palisade Center. I mean, they've repeatedly indicated that, you know, given um, this uh, ability to expand and also, you know, with the reality of the loss of anchor stores and the changing landscape of, of retail, you know, that they would be moving in new directions and diversify and, you know, become a different sort of um, entity. Um, but in the meantime, you know, what's more immediate is, you know, how will they do with the, this tax cert? How will they do with this lawsuit? You know, and, and with this appraisal uh, cut in half, you know, are they, are they better poised to redevelop? Are they better poised to put themselves on the market? I think the, the bottom line here is that there's a lot of uncertainty um, hanging around the Palisade Center for Clarkstown and the county at large because of, of the, uh, it, it's, um, you know, relevancy to the tax base. So we, we were watching these, uh, these stories closely. Um, we also had a third story, as it happens, that they, that the, uh, that the mall has, um, they sued a tenant there last week, a, uh, um, a tenant called the Solstice Sunglass Boutique. Um, you know, a small story, but you know, here they are suing a a, 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 a big a big uh, chain store for uh, ten months of back rent. Uh, with the interesting note being that that company stopped paying rent even before the uh, the pandemic. So, just a lot of uncertainty, uh, you know, around the mall and and what it's going to mean for the uh, the taxpayers and and all, all the people of, of Rockland County. So we are watching these stories and we are reporting on them. The Solstice Sunglass Boutique? Yeah. Have you heard of them? They're big, <laughs> no. Yeah, they're a big chain. Really, really big chain. They have like 80 locations around the country. Yeah. And uh, the mall is suing them for 10 months of back rent. Oh, boy. What would this society be without suits, without lawsuits? How boring, huh? I, had, I, think, uh, I think if there's any profession to be in at the moment... Yeah. It's probably, I think the people who are really uh, cleaning up right now are probably attorneys. Yeah, no, really. All right, Tina. <laughs> if anybody wants to take a look at what uh, uh, Tina was just talking about in detail, just go to the, uh, the uh, website, which is Rockland Business Journal. It's rcbiz, B-I-Z, journal.com, right? rcbizjournal.com. And don't forget to sign up free. Uh, for mm. Just give us your email, and you can get the free daily blast. So, okay, the free what? Every single Monday through Friday, uh, we send out a daily blast. Okay. And those are free. You just have to <clears throat> get on the site, and it says sign up for our daily newsletter, and you just put your email address in. We send one at most to two news stories a day, and this is a, an easy way to stay on top of what's going on in Rockland County. You got it, my friend. We'll talk to you next week. All right. Have a great